group. Let's do it. Thank you, Barry. Coming up next on The Beat Goes On, we get to meet Paro, the health bot, now working hard at the Selwyn Retirement Village. Introducing Paro is Dr. Elizabeth Broadbent from Auckland University, who has been conducting trials using robots to find out their suitability as companions for the elderly. Elizabeth Broadbent. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome to The Beat Goes On. Good to have you in the studio. Thank you. With your wonderful mm, little friend, Paro. That's right, yes. And our viewers will be saying, how on earth is Elizabeth in the studio with a little friend called Paro? What's what's the connection? So uh, you're at Auckland University and you're a health psychologist and you're doing a lot of research for the elderly who are in rest homes and and need companions like Paro here. Is that right? How did it all start? Well, uh, back in 2008, I started collaborating with the robotics group at the University of Auckland. And we were interested in how robots could be used to help the elderly. So we know there are several problems with getting older, like your physical health declines, and um, also <laughs> sometimes uh, moving to a rest home or retirement village, um, you can ha experience some problems with loneliness as well. Oh, it must be terrible, the loneliness. You know, your friends have gone, so many people have died, and, um, and then your children, they're out. They're touring the world, skiing, they never come to visit you, so uh, Sometimes, what, yes. what better than little Faro, eh? Yeah, he's like <laughs> Who a... Who talks to you? <laughs> <laughs> he's supposed to be like a pet, so yeah. we know that animals can help keep people company, and they're useful for people in rest homes and hospitals. And so this has some advantages over a, a real animal, because it doesn't require so much looking after, doesn't yeah. need feeding, and it doesn't bite or scratch you. Now this is just the first stage, isn't it? I mean, because uh, imagine robots in the future. I mean, this is just stage one, but um, robots that'll come in and remind patients to take their medicine, robots that'll be able to take your blood pressure, robots that can warn people that, you know, they've got seeing eyes, they can see that you've had a fall. I mean, it's, the future's gonna be fantastic, isn't it? So you've looked at all different types of robots. What, what's out there on the marketplace? Well, there's not so much out there on the marketplace yet, but we have trialled and developed a robot that will take people's blood pressure. It will remind them to take medications. Also, we're developing a falls detection service so that people wear an accelerometer. Mm. And when the um, accelerometer detects a pattern that suggests they've fallen over, then we can send an alert. And either the robot can come and find you and, and see if you've fallen over, and then they can call the a relative or a nurse and they can look through to telemedicine and talk to the patient and see if they are, have a, actually had a fall or um, if it was a false alarm. And they're available today but you've concentrated at this early stage on Paro. You well, called him Paro, why did you call him Paro? Um, he's called Paro because he's Japanese and that's the name that the Japanese developer gave him. And um, we have actually conducted some trials with the other robots as well at Salwan oh. Village. And uh, so far, um, Paro has been the most successful because it's been shown to reduce loneliness. Mm. The other robots have also been shown to be feasible, but um, as yet they haven't shown the same benefits as Paro. Right, so it's all come down to, with all your research, that the, the thing that was the most concern was loneliness. With all the, the different, you've, you've been at it now for about five years, haven't you, doing this research? Yeah, it takes And, and quite loneliness a while is the one that's come out on top. Yes, yes, lo um, the robot was shown to reduce loneliness. We also found that when people were petting Paro, mm -hmm. it actually reduced their blood pressure. They've, they've had cats in their life, haven't they? They've had, have had animals and dogs. And as you say, the, uh, they can't look after an animal anymore. And this is perfect for it. He's got beautiful eyes, Paro, and, uh, and you just have to stroke his whiskers. Yes. He's and he responds? He's actually got sensors all over his body, so he's got sensors in his back as well, and in his um, flippers. And um, he'll, mo he'll move his tail as well, and um, he's got a little heater inside that keeps him nice and warm like a real animal. And um, he's got light sensors in his eyes, so he knows when it's um, dark and when it's uh, mm. daytime. And he's also sensitive to position, so if you lift him up and hold him in different angles, he'll He'll know he'll where do he things. is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now, 
the big question, sixty-four million dollar question. Uh, you've seen it working. You've actually have you uh, been in the? You've watched, say, patients with dementia, uh, and who who are you've seen it working for them? They yes. How have they responded to Paro? Well, it it depends on the individual. Um, some people aren't interested in interacting with Paro, but mm. others are very interested and they respond extremely well to Paro and they, they hold him and hug him and talk to him, just like they would a real pet. A real pet. And often it reminds them of a, a pet that they used to have. Yeah. So the result of the research is that uh, Selwyn Village, uh, who are, they've got nine different um, rest homes, haven't they? They bought four of these for their patients to see, to you know, to continue the research. Yeah, that's right. So um, Salwan Village has been a great collaborator on mm. this project with us and they've seen the beneficial results that Para can bring and so they want to give those benefits to their residents mm. already now that they've seen the results of the trial. And so they've bought four of them and next year we will collaborate with Salwan Village to do another study with Para in this time we will use it with a different group of patients. These mm. patients will be ones in the dementia daycare setting. So we'll see if it has benefits for those people and also for their caregivers. Now what's a, um, he keeps talking to me. <laughs> what's a, um, the, the children of, of some of these residents independently said, hey, I love this. I'd like to buy one for my mum and dad. Can they, could they do that or? Or is it, it has to be uh, part of a program? No, it doesn't have to be part of any program. People can buy Paro individually. Mm. And um, Salwan Village has been so happy with the results of our studies um, that they are hoping to become a distributor of Paro for people wanting it in New Zealand. Uh, when you say hope, could they say, say somebody watching the program tonight say, I want a Paro for my mum and dad. I know mum used to have a beautiful pet and then she's sitting there and she's lonely. Just could you ring Selwyn Village and, and uh, who would you talk to there about getting a paro? For Hilda Johnson and um, I've got her number right here. Oh, thank you very much. Well, look, I'll read this out for our viewers. If you would like a paro, if you think mum or dad are in a rest home throughout New Zealand and they need a companion, you could talk to Hilda Johnson at the Selwyn Foundation and Hilda's telephone number is 815-4795. Did you get that, Paro? I'll do the number again for you. It's 815-4795. He got it. Good, yeah, he's, Could he's you got a good that, memory. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth, for that information here with the card. But look, there is nothing more wonderful for a, an elderly person who's had a pet all their life to stroke this little beauty. His name's Paro. Look, it brings back all memories about having a pet, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? And he's looking at me adoringly. <laughs> yes, he responds to your voice and gets to know you. Oh, they respond to your voice and get to know you. They do. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, Elizabeth, thank you once again for telling us about this wonderful little creature called Paro. Thank you. Thank you.